Hello everyone, and welcome back to the continued playthrough for Rome 2 Total War and the Sparta campaign. And yeah, I've been giving some thinking to this whole conflict we've got going on in the East. And um, I think we're going to have to start phasing out the Perioikoi pikemen and replacing them with swordsmen eventually, which I have Perioikoi swordsmen installed as a mod off the steam workshop and if you want a link i can't remember what the mod's called but i've got a link to it on my subreddit so if you go to the subreddit which is uh reddit.com slash r slash classy gaming um you can find the link to the um mod which gives access to periodically archers periodically swordsmen and spartan swordsmen so they are what I'm thinking of saving up for, um, because it, it just look the the periodicoi are collapsing, and I've been talking to some people in the comments, and they say that pikemen are worthless almost now in the late game, and yeah, that is a problem we are obviously seeing firsthand with you know the last battle we had. Perioikoi getting minced up, um, and these uh, Germanic, are they Germanic, I can't, no they're just Celts, yeah or Gaulic um, tribes, these Gaulic tri tribal people are holding on to their capital like mad, so yeah swordsmen and cavalry, that's what I think the plan is, this army is quite it's quite large, obviously it's 20 out of 20, but it's not anything to worry about, I don't think. Um, because we not only have our garrison here, but we have um, our, you know, our units in, you know, being replenished. And we can put def set up defensive positions around the perimeter, so, yeah. Oh, and another idea that somebody left a comment like literally this morning um, I'm recording this on Friday um, so yeah that's one thing I was gonna say leave comments and likes on the videos guys because like I like the interaction if you have anything to share with me about the campaign if you want me to try anything let me know in the comments but anyway this person said about developing a Navy and I thought about it and then I remembered that you know the navies were broken early in the early game because uh, yeah we all probably saw angry joe's demonstration of it so yeah naval battles have been strongly avoided since uh the latest patches have been installed um i, I think this is patch nine at the minute yeah it's patch nine it's patch nine went live yesterday so yeah i haven't really been kept up up to date on the naval situation whether that's improved at all by what i think i've seen i don't think it is it, i think it's like a job where you auto resolve your naval battles but the idea that this person had is to build a navy with majority naval uh naval major yeah navy what are you going to do build a navy with just infantry and they swim everywhere that's your navy. Um, obviously, they're going to be naval units, but I meant melee units. Um, and we send them to somewhere to invade, like an amphibious attack. Now, if I remember correctly, when I was playing as Rome, and on my single um, non-YouTube campaign, I remember seeing like Triarii and stuff being able to be recruited through the navy. So that might be an interesting thing to try out. Um, and I think we might use Brundisium as the naval base. Or Athens, maybe? No, it's fully upgraded. Brundisium might be the, a good place to do a naval base. Uh, seven population surplus. Current growth rate. Oh, it's going to take ages. That's going to take quite a long time to get this fully upgraded, so we could 
try something to increase growth here. Plus six growth per turn. Minus four public order to squalor. Minus eight food. Five turns. Increase in wealth as well. Um. Yeah, let's go with this upgrade. This, this might speed up the growth so that we can get access to this extra building. And I think I'll be able to build a port on this because we're by the sea. So I mean building a military port here. If we can't, I'll convert the dock. How much wealth will we lose? Eight food. Oh, shit. We'd lose quite a bit. I wonder, is there an underdeveloped city? What about here? Yadda. They're all food uh, supply ones, so... What about Karelis? Yeah, Karelis. Uh, oh! Wait a second. We have a military wharf here. Unlocks recruitment of light artillery ships. Missile, healer archers, healer archers. Just healer archers, but I bet you can recruit more than that. Yeah, here. Are. Unlocks recruitment of Spartan hoplites. That is interesting. I'm going to just check this up in the encyclopedia. Because I think that there's one more upgrade from this. Yep, there is. <clears throat> And I think that this will give access to more Milo units. Um, tech buildings requires, requires. I don't want requires, I want enables. Where is Sparta? There we are. Healer archers. Spartan hoplites. We ha we've reached our limit on Spartan hoplites, so. Hmm. So, that would kind of be a useless building. That, maybe I could get a mod to lift the limit. I don't know, I could try that, but um, at the minute I'm going to focus on this war in the east. And northern Europe, I believe the barbarians are holding their ground. Ready for battle. Yeah, I think we might have to fall back. We could get back to here in one more turn. That's what I'll do. I'm going to fall back. Get my wits about me. And then move. Uh, yeah, what are we looking at here? These are not Spartans, are they? Yes, they are Spartan pikemen. They might offer a better something uh, better attack or some sort of usefulness and my champion I have a feeling that he's gonna get killed instantly hmm right we'll keep an eye on there we've given them orders so if we forget about them you know it's not that bad Oh, but we need to check the garrisons in that area just in case. Nemnos. Or Nemos. Nemosos. Right, so we need to do the slums here, don't we? I mean, upgrade before slums appear. And here. Okay. Right, there's no military buildings here. So let's get a muster field on the way. And... A. We could go with another muster field to get some hoplite, um, periodical units and some Spartan. What's the other one called? I, I, I can't believe I forgot the name of the other building. It's called a. Oh, that's why I forgot. It's called a Holly Hollow Sideros Barracks. I'll just call that the Spartan Barracks and the other one the Periodical Barracks. So. We'll get two of these buildings so we can go for one of each and have the full unit variety in this province and an extremely garrison upgraded capital. Because we are kind of in the thick of it here. This will be our base to go into Spain. And I think, yeah, this will be our base generally 
along, along the Atlantic, so... Do I have... I, this will have a... Yeah, this has a port, so I could possibly in the future convert this to a military port and do some sort of amphibious attack on this settlement like we did with the Iceni campaign. Um, I need to get back to that. I'll probably record some more of the Iceni campaign after this, so make sure you go and check that out. It's a good campaign, if you ask me. Well, obviously I'm biased, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> right, I've done a lot of talking and not a lot of action, so... Right, situation here, they've got a depleted army that's recovering. A depleted army that's recovering again. We have a fortified and heavily us. depleted army on the border, so... If we do force march, can we get back to Navisos? Because I really don't want to lose this soldier, this uh, soldier, this army, and it looks like a def like it's a definitive possibility. So let's just move them back. We Can't. It's better be sa better to be safe than sorry, if you ask me. Um, At your command. And now we've got this mercenary army on the way. I'll phase out the mercenaries as more units get recruited. I'm keeping this a full stack. Actually, what if I attempted to attack them with this anyway? Nah, I'll phase them out. They're cheap. It's cheaper to do that. I'll phase out the mercenaries and replace them with um, Spartans. Right. This army is going to attack, I think, in the next turn, this settlement. So... We need to get our asses in gear. We've got... I wish it would tell you the entire unit number of this army. I bet it does somewhere. Yeah, 1,700 men we've got. Uh, yeah, let's just end turn and see what happens. I like the navy idea, to be honest. So, I think I'm going to put a... Uh, recruit a fleet in the Mediterranean on uh, Sardinia or Corsica I think I can't remember which island it is I think it might be Corsica ah here we go inevitable this is at what the settlement that we fell back to damn okay they've got a lot of levy freemen a lot of slingers. One set of mercenary Celts. Okay. We've got... I think we might be able to hold the line yeah. here. Maybe. Actually, now I'm looking at it. Spartan youths. I wonder if these guys will do any good. I don't know. This looks like it's going to be a tough battle and a half. Shit, we might actually lose this settlement. They've got two sets of oaths sworn, and those are the ones that I'm worrying about the most. It's These levy freemen are just like um, cannon fodder or whatever. Bodies, they'll get cut down and they, they'll tire out my men. It's the oaths sworn that will do the killing here. Because I've got pike units and they've got swords. I haven't got one single sword unit in my army. Oh, wait. Yes, I have. I've got the general unit. Oh, hell. That'll be called cool. gen our general unit against theirs. Got some light horses. Right. Let's, let's get on with it. I kind of want to save scum. Because, yeah, whatever. Save scum. Just in case, get another ch chance at it. And now I'm thinking about it. I didn't... I didn't save anyway after making my turns. Just in case it crashes like last time. Damn. Alright, I'll probably edit that bit out. But yeah, if you're wondering why it just jumped ahead a bit. Uh, the game minimised and a bit of arsing around happened while the loading screen was on. So it sort of just skipped the loading screen. So, yeah. Right, yo, let's have a look around. Where are they coming from? Over here, shit. 
and I assume there's going to be more reinforcements. And of course they pick the area with the largest, you know, whether it, the choke point is non-existent. Okay, this might be interesting. I'm going to form my troops all the way back General. to the town center and compact them so that they have to cut through a shitload of units. I think we've won this. That's been extremely cocky, but yeah, I think we've got this one. Looking at the settlement, anyway. The way the buildings are really close together. They haven't got much room to maneuver, so... Oh, wait a minute. There's an idea. Can't you put units on top of these buildings? Oh no. I saw a post on the subreddit for Total War that you can... You can put people on top of buildings, but that must be just in the large city maps, so... Right, let's... Uh, go with... The pikemen at the front line. So, Spartans! yeah, the the thicker the the um, the thicker the ranks, the more the bonus, the higher the bonus they get to their um, bracing ability. So, Spartan youths are quite shit actually. Hang about. Wait a minute. The ones that have got bronze attack and defense upgrades actually have a lower attack stat than the default ones. That is really odd. They've got worse morale and they've got a worse attack for having this bronze upgrade. Now I didn't see that one coming. But anyway, let's just... Right, we've got so many depleted troops. Spartans! These guys are going to take the brunt of it since they're experienced. I think if we compact all the Spartans together... Yours to command. I've got a feeling the brunt of the attack is going to come down the center, so I should put the... The center should be the strongest point. Right, this is a tough formation we're going to have to make here. We're going to have to get creative. Um, let's put what perioikois we've got left. Okay, that's terrible. What if we blend the pikes in with the ph phalanx? That's actually quite interesting. Let's do that with all of them. I hate that, it sort of glitches the... That's not the... There we are. It glitches the line you're dragging of the units and it sort of goes all cockeyed. Right. Okay, so I don't know whether I'm exploiting the game here or what, but in theory, as soon as this line, the front line of the enemy clashes with the front line of the hoplites, these pikes are going to be still sticking through, so they'll be doing damage as well, I think. Maybe. I hope that works. That's my idea anyway. Um, and we want... Archers. Pilots. Yep. And we want the skirmish mode off. 
Um, what else? Slingers, ready and waiting. Let's chuck some slingers into the mix. Um, yeah, they should be able to do the job here. Hopefully, there's not too many stacked on one another. Actually, I could put them behind the archers because of their range bonus. Archers! Hopefully, this archer unit actually fires. Because I've had issues when they're behind buildings a little bit. They just don't fire at all. Um, and then the rest of these troops will manage as the battle goes on, I guess. Slingers! Missile infantry at your command. Spartan, Spartan news. Spartan news. They 